It literally could be the most important thing in long-term financial wealth. Yes, we're talking about compound interest. Hello and welcome, my friend. Andrew here with another video for you today about compound interest, something that Albert Einstein referred to as the eighth wonder of the world. He's on record for saying that those who understand compound interest earn it, those who don't pay it. And according to a study that was published on CNBC back in 2019, about 69% of Americans do not understand this concept. So I'm going to break it down for you today in this video and give you the definitive need to know stats on compound interest, what it is, how it works, and how it can benefit you long term. The definition of compound interest is the interest on a loan or deposit calculated based on both the initial principal and the accumulated interest from previous investment periods. Better put, compound interest is a way that you can use your money to make more money and let that money make more money and so on and so forth. It's known as the great equalizer in the investment world because those who start it early and compound over time benefit greatly compared to those who start the tail end of their investment careers. A good way to think about compound interest is to think about pushing a snowball down the hill. In the beginning, it takes a lot of energy on your part to get the snowball rolling. But once it's down the hill moving, it becomes very easy and it rolls by itself. That's what your investments can be if you harness the power of compound interest. This little secret was one of the reasons why Warren Buffett, famed investor, was able to create such a huge portfolio of wealth for himself because he started investing at a very early age and compounded his interest over time. It's not for the faint of heart though and definitely teaches you patience. You have to be willing to wait and wait and wait and just let your money work and do its thing. Let that snowball accumulate power and velocity as it rolls down that investment hill. But what it will do for you is allow you to sleep better at night. Why? Because you know you're building wealth in the background in a passive way. And when you wake up at age 60, you're going to thank yourself for investing at 20 or 25 when you're a young person and didn't kick the can down the road. But in all seriousness, it does take time and discipline to make compounding interest work for you. You can't just do it in a couple of years. It is a long-term play. What you need to do is just be consistent with your investing and always make sure you have the same amount or same percentage of your income going into your investment account so that it has a chance to build up on itself year over year. This is a way you can create generational wealth for your family. I'm going to break it down in this chart right here. Let's say you start with $1,000 in your investment account and you're going to invest for 40 years. So from age 25 to 65, you get a 10% return each year compounded annually, and you're also going to add an extra $200 at the end of each month into that account. By the time you hit 65, your investment account will have grown to over $1.1 million with you only contributing $96,000. You're getting paid over a million dollars in interest payments alone because the interest is stacking on top of itself. At the end of year one, there's about $200 extra in your account because of compounding interest. At the end of year two, $468, then $755, then $1,000. So the amount of interest you're making every single year keeps going up because you keep contributing to your account on a monthly basis and the interest is making interest on the interest. By the time you get to your 30, you're making $38,000 a year, year 35, $64,000 a year, and year 40, you're making $100,000 a year just in interest payments on the amount in your account. Talk about passive income and a way to set yourself up for success. So that example was showing investment time of 40 years or starting at age 25. Let's chop off 10 years, start at age 35, and see if the end result changes. If you invest for 30 years versus 40, Everything else being the same, you're left with about $430,000 in your account after a 30 year period, which is roughly $700,000 less than if you were going to invest that extra 10 years, make it even 40, which highlights the biggest advantage of compound interest. The extra years at the beginning really matter. The difference between 25 and 35 in this example is almost $700,000. So the moral of the story is start early, save often, and the compound interest build generational wealth for you and your family. If you guys want to run your own numbers, the link for the calculator used in this video is in the description below. Please consider subscribing and liking this video if you got some value today. If you want to learn how to use index funds to create passive compounded gains, make sure you watch this video right here.